We're out here at the Kalkaska County Sheriff's Department. They got the court building there. The jail is behind here, and they got it all connected together so that they don't have to walk their, their inmates out in public at all. Keep them in the building the whole time. And of course, we're out here with DeFacto. I see the lights on. Anybody home? No one's in this office. Uh. 150th anniversary. Huh. I'd love to hang out till that meeting's over yeah. and ask the sheriff about littering. Ooh. <laughs> That's a good one. I think that could be pretty interesting. Like my smart ass comment in there? <laughs> it was pretty funny. Yeah, I, that I thought you'd like that one. Just so, just so we're all aware. I'll hey, that's fine. Too. Have at it. Absolutely. I was, I was mentioning you might have a question about that whole issue that he might elaborate on. Yeah, I got a great question for you. So, if somebody drops the the hots and the ashes off their cigarette, would you consider that littering? So, I just work the jail. Oh, okay. You don't do oh, road stuff. I don't do road stuff. Nope. Gotcha. So, okay. So you can't answer that. Now I can tell you that if somebody did it in the jail, I consider it contraband. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, of course, because they're not but allowed to have you in the jail. Else. Right. So, but, but I mean, in your opinion as a citizen, negating law enforcement altogether, would you think that would be littering? What do you mean? Just no, just the ash. Yeah. Exactly. Can't really comment on the law. Right, that's so, why I said negating law enforcement just as a citizen. Disrespectful is what I would say. I, I don't know. I didn't look at the laws. So right. Like Sit, you know, sitting on a bench, like say that bench right yeah. there, and knocking the hots and ash off on the concrete, yeah. and then putting the cigarette butt in your pocket. At least you're not throwing the butt away. <laughs> at least you're throwing the butt away. Right. Understandable with a cigarette butt. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Totally. I know I hate when I see cigarette butts just all over. The place. Oh, I hate it too. That's why I have a pocket full of them. Yeah, no, that's great. That's good. Yeah. I'd rather see people tossing them, you know, trash or that. Or, or a like, butt oh. receptacle, yeah. And then when I walk around and I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Cool, man. Hey, I got a question for you. Now, are you familiar with a plate carrier? Hey, I just uh, lived a. Uh, Bulletproof vest, but not 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 bulletproof material. I'm talking about actual Molly Molly vest with, that has plate inserts that you can put into it um, for ballistic protection. Usually, you know, like in the military, they'll be seven six two. I know that's what I had. Okay. Um, my question to you was, if you have a polyester nylon Molly vest, and that's all it is. Now it has pockets, but those pockets are for ballistic plates. Doesn't it, wouldn't it be true then that once those ballistic plates are put into that vest, that would become body armor? Okay. I don't know the technical definition, so I, I, couldn't, totally, I couldn't really give you that one. I totally I understand, especially when it comes to law. All yeah, the technical, no, you know, no, trust me, anything wrong I just hear is not in my real house, so I, I can't comment on it. So, so you're a guard that was a jail? Yeah, I am a jail. How many inmates do you guys have? Um, right now, right now we don't have too many. We can house sixty-eight. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a small jail. Oh yeah, no, nowhere near <laughs> like you know, like Grand Travers. They're probably the biggest one. Well, I guess Leland is now. Like I think Leland can house like hundred and sixty. Oh yeah, I was up there. I recorded there. Yeah. The, the people inside the courthouse flipped out over the camera a little bit. <laughs> But they got educated, so it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> More than we're getting right. Yeah, yeah. Good for you guys. 
That's what we do. All right, man. Well, we won't waste any more of your time. Have a good you guys day. Have a great day. You too, man. Try and enjoy what's left of the halfway deck. Left. Absolutely. So I wonder how many people they have actually watching over their prisoners, if there's that few. Probably not many. You know, so here's a situation with Aranac. Andy, the cop that got me for that, that Aranac County audit that night, mm -hmm. he was he's a deputized CO, he's not even a road cop. Right. And when he was working, it was only two people total, and that was about 40 to 50 in there. Oh, wow. So, That's horrible. Uh, yeah, right? But that That's not enough. At, only at night, though. Only when they were locked down, technically. Oh, okay. But... Once Still, they should have at least four. Well, yeah, you'd think. you got to have a certain ratio. Yeah. Restricted area, authorized personnel only. Well, I'm not going to go in there. I'm going to record it from public. Hmm. That's locked down. So that vehicle must not work, maybe? I don't know. <coughs> oh, look at all the zip cuffs on his spotlight. Oh, those aren't even zip cuffs. Those are strings, like shoe strings. Those are interesting. So they're reusable, unlike the zip cuffs. Huh. I've never seen something like that. Well, that's brilliant. They left a, a, a couple of radios on the dashboard in the sun. Some hip radios. Look at that. For reserve officers. They don't have computers in their cars? Oh. Wow. None of them have computers. Yeah, there's two radios there. This car is getting ready to retire. That's got a whole bunch of rust. Yeah. Oh, look, he's got something stuck to the steering wheel with deputies and their badge numbers oh my god or id numbers <laughs> huh interesting Well, there's a sheriff's uh, jail transport vehicle. They got a pretty new jail transport vehicle. So I wonder where their access point is. It's got to be around back somewhere. Yeah, this one's rotted out. I'll buy it up. If I have the money. Right. This is this. Aren't you gonna get? You're gonna get what? A escape? One of those. Oh yeah. I want one of those. Oh. Do you know why? I do. The chip and the aluminum drive shaft. The F-150 frame will fit. It'll fit on an F-150 frame. What? So you can jack it up about you know tires this tall. Kidding? And put the lights on it and the siren. Oh my god. And then put badges on the side that say mud patrol. That's cool. And of course you'd have to trailer it every time you want to go off-roading with it. Yeah. Because you can't ha you have that equipment on your vehicle on the road. But off-road you can. I have an old retired Crown Vic from Vicksburg. Yeah, I used to have one too. They're badass. It'd be a blast to have one of those and just beating through the mud trails. Oh my god. With the lights on. <laughs> 
killer. I can only imagine the lift and the tires on it, but like, that would be good. Yeah, see that whole that cigarette ash shit? That's policy for profit. Oh my god. That's that is not the way the law was written what what it was written for. And like I said, I could understand if I threw the butt down. Right. You know? Right. And then he's talking about fire coach. Shut the hell up. <laughs> that fire old crap. Code crap was ridiculous. And that's the dude's first interaction with the local cops at that place. Huh? That owner of that place. Yeah. Kushka. That dude was cool, man. Yeah, he was real cool. Okay. That's weird. There's like no access point. That jail, they must have a new jail. But there's, there's no access point. I mean, maybe they have some people that are awaiting court there, but I'll bet they have a new jail somewhere else. Because there's no... All those gates are chained and locked. So there's no access to the sally port. So how the hell are they going to bring the prisoners? Through the front door? Because those, those gates on the other side were chained and locked. Yeah, yeah. That's weird. They would have to physically come out and unlock the gate. Right. And that would not make sense. Transporting a prisoner. All right, we're done.